So this time I'm looking at the Scurry Trilogy. Uh, I'm a little late to this party. These come out a few years ago, but uh, and it's been reviewed by a few people. Uh, Omni Dog reviewed it. Uh, Kristen reviewed it. Uh, it's fantastic. You might know I don't tend to put up reviews of videos of books that I don't like because they got no place in my library if I don't like them, obviously. But anyway, this um, these were three hardcovers are the editions I have. They're, uh, they're also either were or are available as paperbacks. There's a slip uh, cased edition, which I think are the same books I have, but with a slip case. I don't have the slip case, but I do have the signed and numbered editions, which are um, they have a little foil book plate. Uh, in the front of it, I'll uh, I'll show a picture of that. And anyway, these are um, I, as far as I can tell, these only seem to be for sale straight from the author's website, and I'll link that down below. Uh, they this was a Kickstarter originally, and very successful, I guess. And that so like I said, now he sells them on his site. But uh, as of right now, uh, shooting this, they seem to be out of stock on Volume 1. Now, I don't know if he's going to add more. Hopefully he will. But anyway, the, the price is $35 for each for Volumes 2 and 3. And Volume 1 is 30 I guess because it's a little smaller. So the page count on Volume 1 is 104 pages. Volume 2 is 128 pages. And Volume 3 was also 128 pages. Now, this is a nice oversized format. Uh, I'll put a picture here so you can see see it uh, with a, an Omni in front of it and an image hardcover, the image oversized hardcover. So yeah, as I said, the build quality on these are fantastic. It's a really nice sewn binding, lays open nice and flat, uh, good eye, you know, on the, um, on the binding. It's just, it's good. Fantastic. Had no problems with it whatsoever. And it looks to me like it will hold up to a lot of readings. Uh, I actually bought these for my wife, so these are technically her copies uh, for Christmas this year. And it was one of those kind of gifts, you know, that one spouse buys the other that uh, it's kind of for them too, you know. So I almost felt a little guilty making this a Christmas present because it was a Christmas present for me too, quite frankly. But there you go, you know. Uh, I wish I wish I could say the same for the new Marvels, man. I, I can't help but mention that in every video I do because it's such a disappointment to see the quality of the printing we're getting now from, from the Marvel omnibuses. It, so Back Smith is, the, is both the writer and the artist on this. And uh, I presume the letter and everything. I'm pretty sure he's a one-man band and did the entire thing. Uh, I was not aware of any of his work before I seen the, the reviews go up on YouTube by various people. My daughter, <laughs> chiefly, but uh, yeah, I'd never heard of this guy. I'd never heard of Scary. Uh, not aware of any other comic work that he's done. Like I said, this was originally a Kickstarter project, but man, this guy is a master. I mean, it's stunning. The artwork, I mean, well, you can see it here. It's just beautiful. It, it seems to be painted, although I think he does a lot or all of the work on a computer. Not sure. Not sure about that. Uh, if you go to his YouTube page, his YouTube channel, there is a lot of process videos. And I've started to look at a little of that, but I haven't got through all the material yet. So I can't really tell you exactly what his process is. But I will be uh, looking through a lot more of that. Uh, and I'll link that below also because you'll want to check that out. Uh, I understand he's working on a sequel to this. Seems to be. Not sure. He hasn't posted to... Um, the pages I've looked at in a while, and I did actually try emailing him. I, heck, I was going to try to get an interview with the guy, but, I mean, you know, I uh, I took a shot. I never got an answer from him, but I guess I'm just not big enough yet. Um, or maybe he's just too busy to answer emails. I don't know. But, uh, hey, I wish him luck either way because somebody that can produce this, they got my attention. They got my attention even if they ignore me, but <laughs> it's it's fantastic. So this is the story of a colony of mostly mice and some rats uh, who banded together to try and survive for the first time without humans. So the book distinguishes that there are how, uh, some are house house mice. They say, hey, you're a house mouse. But anyway, so there's mice that have lived in houses and buildings and grown up around humans. And then there's some that have been in the wild and have always lived in the forest or the woods or whatever. Well, this concerns... Uh, a colony of some dis now displaced 
mice because something has happened, which I won't reveal what it is. Not too hard to figure it out, but but it's part of one of the mysteries of the of the beginning of the the story is all the humans are gone and we don't know why. So all these creatures that relied on us to um, to survive from uh, our scraps, uh, the stuff we threw away, you know, uh, well they're having a hard time now because that flow of food is no longer abundant. It ain't happening anymore because the humans have just disappeared. Uh, we never see any bodies, so. But anyway, I'm not going to get into the plot of this because I don't want to. I don't want to uh, give anything away. I'm, I'm, I'm risking it up by running some of the art, you know. But I don't want to give a spoiler because the, the story is too good to be spoiled. Yeah, it's uh, it's just stunningly beautiful art. It it looks like animation and very much reminds you, reminded me anyway, of of the best Disney stuff, you know. Uh, and some of the other works, you know, I think Don Bluth. Bluff, blue. I don't know how you say that, but his studio work, uh, some of that stuff, uh, reminded me a little of an American Tale, you know, and um, movies like that. It's just, it's really great. But it has none of the. There's no, no, no there's no uh, cornballness to it at all. There's no uh, smarminess. The the emotional responses are, are genuine. You see here, and you you care about these characters, and some of the villains are are so. Uh, just vile that you, you know you, you root for their demise. You know you you want to see them uh, get theirs and and hope and most of the time they do. So there's some satisfying plot developments here too, and it just works on a lot of levels. And in many ways, I would probably call this a an um, an all ages book. I mean, there is some some violence and and some things like that, of course, but it's nothing gratuitous there. There's no uh, there's no uh, gore or anything really to speak of. You know, you, you see mice, plenty of mice, some rats, uh, some wolves, and you can guess which ones are the bad guys here. But, uh, man, it's it's just stunningly beautiful, like I said. I, I, I don't know. I mean, what can you say about a work like this without spoiling it? You know, I mean, uh, this is a must-have, really. And I'm hoping that the sequel to this does happen. But this is a complete story. All three books come to a nice... You know, by the time you get done reading the last volume, it's a nice, satisfying ending, and, and you're happy to end it there. But at the same time, you'll want more. And man, um, you know, uh, according to some of the things he's written on, on his websites and at the end of the book here, that there will be more. So hoping for that, because man, it's, it's great. And you want to talk about world building. This guy knows how to do it. And the thing about what we learn here is that to have a nice, interesting world, it doesn't have to be big. Especially if your subjects are very small. So, you know, just the basement of an old house is quite a landscape to a little mouse, you know. Uh, treading delicately, so it's not to do any uh, spoilers, but uh, it's good. I mean, it, it's just so great. If, if you can, now here's the problem, can you get them? You know, I review a book that's been out for a few years and possibly somewhat out of print, you know. If you could get it, get it. It's that good. Just so good. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. I wouldn't change a thing about it. I mean, uh, the build quality of the book, the size of the books are nice. Uh, everything's good here. I'm totally happy with the art. Love the plot. Love the conclusion. This is just a winner all the way around. So if, uh, if Max Smith ever happens to see this by some <laughs> miracle, please make more. We got to have more. So this was a quick one, but, you know, uh, w when you don't have multiple creators, you don't have a, you know, a, a bunch of creators to get through, these things don't take that long. So that's, you know, that's part of that. And when you don't want to spoil a great story, you can't talk too much or you're going to spoil it. But, yeah, this is 10 out of 10 for me. So next week, Monday, May 23rd. Come back for my take on Jason Aaron's Thor. I'll, I should have that, reading that completed by then and uh, hopefully get that put together for you. So come back on May 23rd. And if you like this stuff, please give me a like. But more importantly, give me a sub. Give me a sub. Please subscribe because uh, that's, you know, YouTube it isn't about the money for me. I mean, I don't, I have no uh, illusions that I'm ever going to 
get the 4,000 watch hours in a 12 month period needed to monetize. So, you know, so I, you know, I, I'm not looking for that, but I will say at the thousand subscriber mark, uh, one of the things opens up for YouTube, uh, and that is we can add the community tab. And I would really like to have that community tab. And that's where I can directly post notes to you guys and you can directly say stuff to me. Um, but you know, it's locked behind a thousand sub marker. So, kind of my new goal, I guess, because I, I would really like to have that. I think it would be good for the channel and a good way to tell you guys what's going on and, you know, and converse back and forth. But anyway, come back on May 23rd if you want to see my take on Jason Aaron's Thor. See ya.